Thank you. Um, I'm from one of the smaller communities, Turkish communities. Uh -huh. That's and now that we know, it's, yeah. it's big in Brooklyn. Yes, it is. Right. And now that we know, we'll probably bring them to you or direct them to you. Maybe you guys can work um, better together. Um, I, have, I have a few questions. Okay, what, name, oh, my name is Kara Manhali Selik. I'm a Turkey's national broadcaster, Turkish radio and television. Um, after the, you know, the Turkish uh, business people or local uh, community members we talked to uh, complain about uh, not getting enough help after the Sandy. Interesting. Or they don't actually know how to apply for aid, or you know, um, is your office doing anything to help them and other communities to actually recover from uh, the damages that were caused by Sandy? Um, my second question is about you know undoc uh, undocumented uh, workers in the city. There are millions of them, which is great. There are millions. Uh, that's <laughs> what we are. What we are. <laughs> but go ahead. I mean, city runs on, on uh, you know, if. if they are not here, our city would probably not run very well. Um, is there any plan or is, is there any push uh, for the city or the state to provide them with IDs or very basic you know, needs that they can actually survive, they can rent an apartment, they can buy a cell phone, you know, very, very basic things. What do you do um, on that? Thank you. Good, great question. So the first one on Hurricane Sandy. So now, a year later, um, we, um, there's, there's lots of things that have happened um, in our city, and um, I think the city of New York, I have to commend my colleagues and being on the team that did some of this work right after, I think we did some really, really great things to respond to some of the challenges. Um, in particular, for small businesses, um, small businesses were, were incredibly challenged along, certainly in Brooklyn, along Brighton Beach and along the corridor right down in South Brooklyn. Um, most of the benefits come from um, FEMA, which is a federal agency in, uh, within the Department of Homeland Security. And FEMA, along with the U.S. Department of Labor, I would say, and the, and the um, Small Business Administration, were in New York in very, very big numbers right after Hurricane Sandy. The true reality is, is most of the but for some amounts of money that can be given to you, whether as a homeowner, for businesses in particular, some of the relief is actually based on loans and low interest loans. And for many of our small business community members, that wasn't their interest. They were sort of trying to leverage how could they get access. The access was really from insurance, and from insurance dollars. Many of our small businesses didn't realize the amount of insurance they should have had, could have had, and therefore, um, I would say, recognized a tremendous amount of losses. What I think the federal government did through the Small Business Administration um, was really able to provide these loans. The city of New York, however, did come in and say, we have grants to give you as small businesses, um, and loans that we also um, were ensuring that we would give. I don't know how many of our small businesses um, participated in the process. Our Department of Small Business Services worked very strategically with what we call BIDS, Business Improvement Districts, uh, which we have across the city actually with a very robust audience of business improvement districts. Many of them are in ethnic enclaves in our city, whether they're in Brooklyn, like the Brighton Beach BID, or in Washington Heights, or in Flushing, or in our Chinatown in Manhattan, um, uh, or uh, in Corona, there's the 82nd Street BID, and all of these organizations um, these bids were really critical for helping provide assistance. So in Brooklyn in particular, the um, Brighton Beach bid is a very, very robust bid. So if the Turkish small business owners are not connected, I'm happy to make sure they are connected because the woman who runs that is really, really very good. And if additional resources are needed, I'm sure that our colleagues at the Department of Small Business Services would be happy to help. I don't know, to be very honest with you, what happens a year later, um, but our, again, I think the commitment that we have as a city is always to help our small businesses continue to thrive. So we should figure that out. The second one.